Bastard is a six-episode OVA adaptation of a manga from 1987, which is still ongoing today. Normally, you would think this would be a train wreck for any OVA to try to adapt in six episodes, but in fact, Bastard is one of my favorite comedy OVAs. That's right, comedy. Whenever I bring up Bastard, there's always a few people that say that they didn't really get into the show just because they couldn't take it seriously, when in fact, you're not supposed to at all. I can understand why people feel this way, though, because it's presented in a way that makes you feel as if you're supposed to because it has this dark and gritty atmosphere that you'd find in a mid to late 80s blood and guts action OVA. In reality, you're really not supposed to take Bastard seriously as it's basically a parody of itself, where at times the protagonist will even break the third wall. Everyone knows the macho bad guy can't win, especially when he's fighting the exceptionally handsome and popular main character. Your death was inevitable as soon as you showed up with that ugly face. <laughs> the story is set in a medieval fantasy universe where there's three evil sorcerers and a ninja that want to take over the world and release this evil god of destruction that will just destroy everything so they can rebuild upon its ashes. As this story begins, we see their evil army attacking the kingdom of Metal Rakana, and they only have one last ditch effort in order to stop them, that is, to release the evil sorcerer that was sealed away inside the body of a young boy which also happens to be their previous leader and is also an evil sorcerer. I think I mentioned that part. Doesn't sound like a good idea. So just how do they go about releasing this evil sorcerer? Well, they need an innocent woman whose body is chaste and pure, and they need her to break her holy seal of purity. The holy seal within you must break. That's right, she needs the boy to break her seal of purity. The seal of purity can only be broken with the power of a virgin's first kiss. Yep, that's right, the boy needs to break her hymn. Are you serious? It's a kiss? As this evil Dark Schneider is released from within the boy's body, he decides to do whatever the hell he wants to do. Does this really surprise anyone? Was I the only one that expected that? So what is it exactly that this Dark Schneider wants to do now that he's free? He wants to take over the world and create a harem consisting of every woman in the world. I think I found my new favorite anime hero. But of course the world is a bit too big for one man to conquer on his own, so he needs to regain the trust of his old friends. And just how does an anime hero go about regaining the trust of their friends? He kicks the shit out of him. Now while Dark Schneider may need assistance in conquering the world, he needs no help when conquering the hearts of women, as he is a true gentleman, he knows how to wine and dine a gal. Once I'm ruler of the world, any woman I want is mine for the taking. Yoko, if I want. Even Sheila. <laughs> You'll pay for that, bitch. How many of your favorite anime heroes have ever traversed a demon-infested dungeon in order to save their woman from cloth-eating slime while they have a princess on their shoulders grinding up against his shoulder pauldrons getting off? Hey, try to hold still. Okay. Uh, 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 he's me down now. I thought so. And did I also mention the cloth eating slime? What now? What are you going to do, Gara? Ah! That's right. It's slime. It will dissolve your clothing slowly before my ah! eyes. Let's face it, even the most modest, well-mannered gentleman finds himself being eclipsed by Dark Schneider's chivalrous demeanor. You arrogant uh? son of a bitch! I don't get to see her naked, nobody does! And I know what you're asking, how do you even begin to tell a story with a hero that outclasses everyone? You're gonna need some real badass villains, and Bastard delivers. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> get a feast ready, tonight we drink! Bring the wine! Gather the women! I think someone should tell him that he's missing an arm, though. Essentially, Bastard is the story of Dark Schneider reassembling his army so that he can take over the world. And as I said earlier, this is a small part of its parent story, so 
it's not really the whole thing, but it definitely does stand on its own as we see all of the characters here. Uh, we see their backstory and how it ties into Doc Schneider's past. It shows how they met and how their rivalry got started as well. Bastard excels at combining comedy with action, which is something that most action comedy anime that you find really fail at. They just alternate between action and comedy instead of combining it all together which Bastard does very well. Here we see in the fights that we have these overpowered spells that are just over the top, and they take this very long casting time for them to actually use it. And in that time where they're casting the spell and gaining all of that energy so they can use it, we get enough time for everybody else to react to it. And when I say reactions, I don't mean actually interrupting the character or even moving out of the way, which sounds like a no-brainer, right? But we get stuff like this. No, not that, not that! Don't do it! Don't do it! Yeah, I know, it's really cheesy seeing all that, but it really adds to the character of the series. And we also see times where a character will use his self-sacrificial move that drains all of his life force and kills him, and then he just gets up and does it again. No biggie. As someone who's read a lot of the manga, I think I was about 70 some chapters in when I got sidetracked and just never found my way back. But as far as its comparison to its original story goes, uh, the only real problem that I found was that they don't have all of the music references because within Bastard, we have the kingdoms, we have characters' names, as well as spell names, which are all taken from metal bands. And I think that that added an extra level to the comedy of the manga and it's something that I don't really see causing a problem within the anime but if you know it's supposed to be there and you see that it's not it kind of takes it down a notch but personally I think if it was there it would have lifted it up a bit. Moving on to the presentation this came out in 1992 and while it looks as if the characters are ripped straight out of 90s anime it's animated in a way that really reminds me of the gritty uh, late 80s action OVAs and I really think that it gives a lot of character to the anime and we also have a great soundtrack as well as a series which is heavily inspired by music. It has a great soundtrack, even though it is mostly classical, they do a great job of raising the fights to epic proportions. Now let's talk about voice acting for a minute. I've seen Bastard numerous times. I've seen it with sub and dub, and in my opinion, the only way to watch it is with the English dub. The way that they overact everything, it really adds to the whole cheesiness of this tongue-in-cheek anime. My final score of Bastard is an 8 out of 10, with the assumption that you're going to be watching this with the English dub, probably maybe 7.5 or 7 if you're watching it with the sub. Thanks for watching, be sure to tune in next time for my Welcome to the NHK review. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe as well as hit the like button or maybe even share it if you like. It really helps out a lot and I really appreciate all that. If you'd like to further support this channel, please check out the Patreon linked in the description section below. Thanks for all your support, I'll see you next time.